Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your DJ, just in time, coming to you from downtown Tokyo. Here we are, back in civilization after all the fun and games at the cave in Spain. How's it going, Ralph? Everything okay? Yes, thank you, Justin. I've been watching a documentary about Komodo dragons. Oh, yes. Was it interesting? No, a bit disappointing, really. Why is that then? Well, dragons are supposed to breathe fire. They weren't breathing any fire at all. You didn't expect them to really breathe fire, did you, Ralph? It's only in fairy stories that dragons breathe fire. Mind you, if you get near one and smell its breath, you'd think it was fire. Why do you say that? Well, they have terribly bad breath, you know, because they don't clean their teeth. That's where the saying, dragon's breath, comes from. Oh, you mean when somebody's got bad breath? Yes, that's right. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You talking about Komodo dragons just reminded me. Reminded you of what? Jerry, our producer, he's got a Japanese wife, you know. Yes, so what? Well, he was complaining that she is always angry with him. So he gave her the nickname Kimono Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it was even funnier coming from our producer Jerry because he's such a serious person, you know, he doesn't have much of a sense of humour. You can say that again. He doesn't have much of a sense of humour. <laughs> so, how are you adjusting to life in the big city, Justin? Um. It's a big contrast to life up at the cave, Ralph. I mean, there are so many people, and people keep getting under my feet. I keep doing the silly dance with people in the street. Oh, you mean when you're trying to pass someone, and you both go the same way, and then you go the other way, and they go the other way, so you can't get past each other? Yes, that's right, Ralph. How did you know that? It came up in a film the other day. Can't remember what they called it. So there you are, with a complete stranger, dancing around like a couple of demented robots. I found a way out though, Ralph. What, you mean to escape from the silly dance? Yeah. How do you do that? Well, you stop, look the other person straight in the eye, and you say... Shall we dance? <laughs> well, it usually works, especially if they've got a sense of humour. Oh, Justin, changing the topic a bit, but why is it that actors always try to avoid working with children and animals? That's because they are so unpredictable, Ralph. I remember once, when I was a kid, watching a program called Blue Peter, and they brought a baby elephant on to show the children. Well, they just couldn't keep it under control, and it was pulling the keeper all over the studio. <laughs> it was peeing and going to the toilet all <laughs> over the place. And the presenter was trying to keep a straight face and keep the program going, but all you could see in the background was the keeper being dragged backwards and forwards <laughs> across the studio. It was hilarious. I nearly died laughing. So that is why actors always say never work with children or animals. Does that answer your question, Ralph? Yes, it does, thanks, Justin. That's very funny. OK, and now let's have some music. I go that way and you go the same 
same I go that way and you go the same What's your name? What's your name? Shall we dance? Shall we dance? Shall we dance? Shall we dance?